Hi everyone, Halo Reach Tutor back with another Spotlight video. Today I have Enigma the Fourth, who's playing Team Slayer on the map The Cage. He's going to have a really incredible game here, and I want to tell you guys a little bit more about why I put the Spotlight videos up. It's not just for uh, people to show off uh, incredible games when they have them. It's really more than that. I started putting them up, and I continue to put them up. Uh, because I have my own Halo philosophy, my own Halo uh, approach to the game, my own tips, tricks, and everything else. And all of you have your own uh, set of Halo Reach skills, right? Everybody does things a little bit differently. And I can share with you the way that I approach the game. But if you limit yourself just to uh, what I can share, you know, you're really going to be missing out on a lot of really interesting approaches, a lot of interesting techniques. Because a lot of you do things that I've never even thought about doing, and even the things that I can think of doing, you do them much better than me in a lot of instances. So that's why I wanted to share the Spotlight videos to show off some of the things that you're doing, but not just to show off, but so that each of you in watching the videos can pick up on some of the subtle things that other players are doing that help them have those once-in-a-lifetime games like uh, Enigma the Fourth is going to have right here. He's doing very well. He's got uh, an excellent weapon combination with the uh, shotgun and the DMR. Great for short range, mid range, and long range situations. And he finds himself in a very good position here at the high ground. I like to call this the high ground. And it works uh, very well to, uh, to uh, spend some time up here for a lot of reasons. For one, you, can, uh, you have a lot of different escape points from this area. Okay, another thing is you have the health pack right there on the wall to bail you out and you'll see that Enigma takes advantage of that health pack multiple times while he's up here at the high ground. Another thing I really like about the high ground up here is that uh, the two approaches are very exposed and you can really take advantage of that. If anybody wants to rush you up here on the high ground you're probably going to be able to put several shots into them before they can shoot at you and that's really going to give you an advantage up there. Uh, so the health pack has really run its course up top, so he drops down for this uh, health pack down in the bottom center. And you'll see that time and time again, Enigma uses those health packs to extend his spree. There's probably four or five times when uh, if it had not been for a health pack, he would have been killed. And so uh, this would have been a very average, unremarkable game if he had not used the health pack. And uh, You know, when you're talking about uh, competitive games, really it's little things that make a big difference, okay? Um, and, and knowing where all the health packs are and running for them when it's necessary is really going to make a huge difference. So Enigma is uh, becoming very successful with this shotgun, but you'll see uh, he's not falling into the trap of becoming too campy. A lot of times when you pick up that shotgun, you want to kind of hang out in one area where you feel like you're very hidden, and uh, that's really a mistake. You want to continue to move around. You see that Enigma is doing that very well. He's uh, shifting from one area of the map to another, and that doesn't allow his uh, opposition to get comfortable, okay? By always changing his position, moving around, uh, it makes it very difficult for his uh, opponents to get a lock on him. The problem is, if you spend too long in any one area with the shotgun, the sword, or any other weapon for that matter, your opponents are going to start to figure things out. They're going to understand what's going on, and they're going to smoke you out with grenades or some other method. So you always want to be moving around, as Enigma is doing here in this game. And now he's a running riot. He's got several double kills. He's doing very well, playing a very solid game. And back up at the high ground, uh, which is a very good place to be because there's a lot of advantages up here at the high ground. As I said before, lots of escape points and uh, really good angles as well. Now I want to show you an exchange he has here that's, that's very uh, good. You can learn a lot from this. This happens to me all the time. Probably happens to you quite a bit too. You have an opponent who's just spawned down at that low point there where the uh, plasma grenade launcher spawns. The best thing to do in this situation is to use this little ramp. You have a great angle from this ramp down onto that platform below. And 9 times out of 10 you're going to win any one-on-one -on -one situation there. Uh, a great approach by Enigma. I really like the way he approached that situation. Now he uh, is continuing to look for the sniper rifle. I know he wants it. He's gone for it several times and he's never been able to get it. I don't think he was playing with uh, teammates or if he was they weren't sharing. <laughs> 
because he never gets his hand on the sniper, although I can sense that he really does want to pick it up. But he is doing extremely well uh, throughout this entire game. He's only had the DMR and the uh, shotgun for almost the entire game. And he's just doing extremely well with it. The reason being is that these are such versatile weapons. This combination is really incredible. You really can't go wrong with a combination like this. Okay, Great for medium, long, and short range situations. He's really never going to find himself in a bad jam. And now he's... Uh, Got a rampage, 20 kills in a row, no deaths, doing very well. He's got more than half the kills for his team. And he's got another headshot here, just continues to uh, add them up one-on-one, -on -one, playing just a really solid, fundamental game here. Now I want to mention one more reason that I put these spotlight videos up, and that is the fact that as you watch players who have incredible games, players who have incredible skills like Enigma does here in this video, you're going to find that your own games are going to get better and better. You're going to have more and more fantastic, outstanding games, and your own skills are going to increase. Even if you're not consciously trying to change the way that you play, it's going to happen anyway. Even if you're not trying to consciously have better games, as you watch other players who have these kind of games, you're going to have those kind of games more often yourself. That is just simply a true principle, okay? If you surround yourself in life, with people who are successful, people who are smart, people who are talented, you are going to find that you will become more successful, more intelligent, more talented on your own. Even if you're not trying to work on any of those things, it's going to happen. You surround yourself with success, you immerse yourself in people who are successful, and you will be more successful yourself. You've probably noticed that as you watch these spotlight videos and as you pick up on things subtly, even if you don't try to mimic the things that they're doing, you'll find yourself doing it in games anyway. When all's said and done, Enigma is going to have half of his team's total points. That's right, he's going 25-0, and 0, untouchable perfection. He's got 25 kills, no deaths, absolute domination by Enigma the Fourth. I want to thank you all for watching today. This is Halo Reach Tutor, and I hope you're able to pick up a thing or two uh, about the game and how you can improve yourself. Even if you're not consciously trying to do that, I guarantee by watching these spotlights, you will improve your game and take it to the next level. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, give a thumb up, and subscribe. Check out my channel, and I'll see you next time.